Hello everybody, um, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and what I'm going to do with this series of videos is do the replay analysis for every match in all 15 matches in the Cross-Platform Cup. The Cross-Platform Cup isn't actually cross-platform, but we, are, we have got five of the best coaches from each of the three platforms, PC, Xbox One and PS4, and we're all playing each other once. So um, we're not all playing each other once, we're having five games in each one. You know, so the first round was PC versus Xbox. Um, this is Muldripster versus Chelsea Zola. Muldripster from PC and Chelsea Zola from Xbox. Um, as you can see, this turn one in the way is a bit of a pain, but okay, I'll get, I'll get rid of it. The only thing is, if you don't, if you don't wait, if you don't have it on, then you've got to wait for a block to happen. Right. So um, Chelsea Zola went Woodells clearly. the The format was fifteen hundred. Um, 1500 TV with about 1150 um, for the team and about 350 for skills. There were some rules. I can I can link the rules, I guess, in the description. Um, so let's let's have a look at what Chelsea's all went with. He went with a guard strip war dancer, a tackle mighty blow strip war dancer, and some dodge line elves, a blodger, a wrestler, a dodge guard, and a blodge step sure feet catcher. Um, I guess that's his kind of one turn. I really wanted to have a, a sidestep on that. I went Woodells as well. Um, now I strangely can't see skills. Okay. Okay. Um, and then Muldripster went Blood Sure Hands Gutter for the carrier. Claw Palm, obviously. Claw Mighty Blow Tackle. There was, a, there was an argument for Mighty Blow piling on Tackle there, wasn't there? Um, Dirty player, of course. Blood step guard, very nice. Wrestle tackle dauntless, and then a wrestle strip, because obviously wrestle strip is going to work on an uphill a fair amount of the time. So uh, I really like Mull's team. Mull's team, I think, is pretty much perfect. Um, I'm not a fan of Chelsea Zola's team because, um, you know, obviously I went with something a bit different for my team. But, I mean, it's fair enough. It's got two guards and a mighty blow, which is. What it's always going to have. There was a big debate at the start um, of the match. Mull was thinking about whether to claw the tree or to just blitz an unskilled guy. He blitzed the unskilled guy and killed him. So that was his thinking was there might have been a big payoff for hitting the tree, but obviously getting stuck on the tree would be terrible. Um, but he hasn't really got the agility to run away from it or the armor to take hits from it, has he? So though this is this is good having the guard there that can then dodge away. Wow, lucky, lucky making the two cars there, isn't it? He also got a uh, reroll off the kickoff. He only had three rerolls in an apple. And Chelsea's all has three rerolls in an apple. No one to foul with his dirty player. Probably going to stay out of range. No, he's not staying out of range. Yeah, he's got sure hands, but still. Interesting. I guess he's got the tacklers there. And he's got the anti leap cage with him. Presumably. So yeah, the ball's pretty safe, isn't it? I, I would have been tempted to stay out of range, um, just because you know you movement nine. So I wouldn't have hated. Uh, I wouldn't have hated just staying out of range there. <laughs> Hello, last frogman. Um, Unfortunately, a lot of the sound things won't work because I had them set for the laptop, so I will have to change them as we go along and uh, get them back into the game. But Batman will work, so that's something at least, isn't it? Or should work. Batman should work. So, not blitzing with his mighty blow guy, either of his mighty blow guys there, and rolling a 7 on the armor. So. PS4 equals Jim Shard there. That was, uh... Glorious! Glorious. <laughs> he burst, he burst the claw randomly. That was an interesting strategy from the, wood, from the Xbox guy there. He burst a claw mighty blow guy and allowed himself to get blitz by claw pong. Mull does commit the reroll as he as he posited that he would do and um, gets the knockdown and gets the cars. Glorious.
So yeah, he just he just gave him he just gave him that 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 block and blitz. Never mind the blitz, he gave him the block too. Thank you very much, uh, Mia Khalifa, for being resub for three months. <laughs> Thanks for staying fantastic. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much, Last Frogman, for that. He was obviously gifting it. Um. So yeah, you know that's it's looking. Oh yeah, Sparta works. Yeah. So I mean that's a great start, isn't it? Three cars, but I mean he just he, Chelsea Zola just gave him that tree. I, I didn't really like just saying, "Hey, hey, block my tree with with claw mighty blow." <laughs> you know. So he's doing the kind of elf scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's doing kind of an L screen, which doesn't really matter, does it? Mull's movement nine. He doesn't really care. I mean, he wants to hit the war dancers, obviously, um, but he doesn't care about breaking through any time soon, does he? He just wants to cause attrition. He's left uh, the dodge guarder here. Gets both down because he didn't take blodge on his guard. He didn't pile on though because he didn't have it. Mm. I would. I, I really would have. Nah. I mean, obviously, I can see the point of having two claw mighty blows. Um, they're going to really help him in the games. I think, you know, they're going to really help him in a lot of the games. But maybe his tackle mighty blow piling on would have been would have been an idea. But I mean, you know, when you've only really got uh, Sparta, I heard Sparta to a goal. Um, Mull getting a big foul, so I guess he didn't need the piling on, did he? Because he's he was committed to a giant foul. I say giant foul, three assist, dirty player. There's a mull foul. Hello, VIP Kurgle as well, by the way. And uh, sorry if I've ignored anyone in chat because I was just trying to uh, sort this out. <laughs> Alright, leaps in the guard. Ready for the mighty blow hit. Oh, he didn't get the knockdown. He used a reroll to get the knockdown. Fair enough. But, I mean, <laughs> that surprises no one, does it? I mean, there, there was a good chance of it not being a good bounce. Um, I think what he should have done there was... I don't know if Mull's got guard here. He doesn't, does he? But if he'd left the guard in here and then blitzed from there, he could have pushed him to here and got a much more favourable, potentially favourable bounce. Um, I don't really like the, his, the direction that he, he blitzed from there. Oh my god, Mull. Mull rolling the dice. Yeah, yeah. I think I think if you're going to go for the leap in, push him where, where you can possibly get a recovery, you know? Um, oh, Mull, Mull's a dirty dingo, isn't he? He casts him and then a good runner catches it. Weaving <laughs> Blades doing your thing. So yeah, you get getting getting the powers, isn't he? And the uh, dodges there. Is this a surf now? I think it could have been if you if you moved him around. You could have pushed him to there, and then you could have surfed him. He, he absolutely could have surfed him, but I guess he's going to foul him with dirty player. Hmm. I think I might have set up the surf there. I mean, roll the power anyway, but still. <laughs> wow, Pedro. <laughs> VIP Pedro, Jack. There's no need for that. So, obviously, Mull's here is making Mull fouls and not Jim fouls. Um, it's a very good tactic. Very good tactic to make Mull, Mull fouls and uh, not Jim fouls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to update the SFX now. Now that I'm back in Germany, I'll I'll sort out all the SFX. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. I guess I could have done it in the previous days when I wasn't streaming, but then you know I'd been I'd been away for a while, so I didn't. 
Tony is not in there yet. No. No, I'm sorry, Tony. I've got the sound file here though, so it will be it, it will be coming soon. Obviously Mull's just going for the tackle hit on the ward answer. Though no uh, no foul. Is he gonna three dice him? I guess he is, and then foul the guard guy or what? Or keep the dirty player for the I know not for Christmas soon. Actually soon, I'm, I'm actually gonna get everything sorted now, believe it or not, believe it or not. It's, things are gonna happen. Three, engineers of three dies doesn't get him, but he's got that extra reroll. I think maybe he wouldn't have rerolled this if he didn't have three rerolls, and I guess he would have done. Because you can still be left with one reroll. But wow, huge, huge cards. He's got to apple that. Instant apple. He didn't apple it. Oh, he'd already, he did apple it. He'd already used an apple on one of these other things and failed. All right, fair enough. Well, that's me not paying attention then. So, yeah, and this is Mo being a, being a dirty dingo, isn't it, really? Just wrecking him. It is, yes, Felenic, yes. Yes. <laughs> My channel is set to a mature audience on me. Used the app on the catcher, did he? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the KO. Um Kaz. Another Kaz? Oh god, yeah. So Mull's been very lucky, of course. I mean how much is this? Four players? Um <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty stupid, isn't it? Reducing them to four players. Um, this early, but you know, Zola did give up the the tree for no reason, and he did kind of go all in with with the the war dancers and the uh, and the catcher for maybe maybe he shouldn't have you know made his plays when he did make his plays. Um, I mean, obviously, Mole's been incredibly lucky, but. But I still didn't like, didn't like him giving up the hit that led to a cars, which wasn't that unlikely when you think about it. Moore was always going to use a reroll to knock over the, uh, knock over the tree, so he's like ninety-seven percent to knock him over. Um, and then you know, Claw Pommy had good good chances. Obviously, he's greeting all of these now because he's got the reroll left. He's got a dirty player. I mean, he was incredibly lucky. There's no point. There's no point pretending that Moore wasn't incredibly lucky. But um, he did. He did allow him to get lucky with just offering up the tree for no reason, you know. And when he leapt in with both dancers, they were, they were two three plus rolls to to get in there, and obviously he had a team reroll available. But there was no real good recovery, so he kind of um, oh got another cast. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, Mull is. <laughs> I still do think he. I do think he. Uh, he played better than him though. But. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mull got insanely lucky. <laughs> wow, what a what a massacre. Mm, I don't think I would have taken the boat down there for more assists on the foul. Is it the same amount of assists on the foul? Maybe it's the same. I think I'd have taken both down. Just quietly. I'm not sure though, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But it doesn't really matter. It's still a three plus to break AV. <laughs> he does have his he does have his catcher, his one turn catcher left. So let's see. <laughs> 
Let's see if he can get the one turner with five players on the pitch. <laughs> wow, six cards, that's outrageous. That really is outrageous, isn't it? Four players. You probably can't even can't even get one push with four players, can you? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Don Nicholas, exactly. <laughs> So now to be this is this is where you could forgive Mo playing a bit crap at this point because obviously he knows he's won. Um he knows he's won at this point, so it's just uh it's just uh waiting for it to finish, isn't it, basically? Ah. Did he do that? I didn't even spot that, Ducky. Wow, I didn't even spot that. Um, I did not even spot that. I'll be honest with you, Ducky. So, brilliant analysis from me there. <laughs> I missed that. With a blitzer. Wow, that was a bit rowdy, wasn't it? <laughs> No, I mean. <laughs> so he, he could have got the push there, couldn't he? Um, so he actually, he still could have scored the one turner there, but failed. <laughs> well, he might not win. Let, we get to change it to chase cam now, don't we? Switch view onto these glorious forward elves. Um. <laughs> It is, it's going to be a nail-biting second half, isn't it? As to as to how many touchdowns will Mull score? Whether he'll go to... Maybe he should stop the one-turner, because I think the one-turner is the best chance for the Woodies to get back into this. Score a one-turn and then do something. Like, it's horrible, isn't it? It's really horrible for the Woodies at this point. I don't really see what they can do. <laughs> Chase cam. He's just gonna potato and not score. Well, I think he should have tried to get a push if he was gonna do this play. I guess he can screen him, kind of. Yeah, okay, he can kind of put a bit of a screen there, can't he? I mean, it's not like it's not like Mull's got fastest players in the game to go and get the ball. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, he does have the fastest players in the game. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yep, sure. Strip ball gets the ball out. He's got his sure hands ready to pick it up. I mean, it's still a bit worrying, this war answer. Maybe it's worth tagging him. But you don't really want to give up a mighty blow hit. Oh, he doesn't have sure hands. Did he bend? Did he bench sure hands? He benched sure hands. So he doesn't have sure hands for the pickup. Makes sense to bench the sure hands guy, to be fair. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't like that he gave up. He gave up the uh, the tree, didn't he? I didn't like that. Um, I didn't like him giving up the tree. But apart from that, yeah, it's been a hell of a dicing. So it is really hard to say. I didn't really particularly like when he went for the ball or the way he went for the ball. Um, but you know. He could be thinking he was up shit creek. Yeah, there will be HD dwarves later for sure. Oh god. <laughs> Double one. <laughs> Cast. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> wow. This is stupid. 
Exactly, Ducky, yeah, exactly. You know, like, but it was turn one. Well, even turn one, Mull got two cars, didn't he? Um, which, you know, no, no play on earth could have stopped that. Um, but st still, he did just give him, he did just give him his tree, which I didn't like. Now, obviously, Mull got lucky to cas it. Um, and then, yeah, when he went for the... When he went for the sack, you could argue that he felt it was desperation times, but I still didn't like the way he went for it. You know, he could have had the guard and the mighty bow in a different spots, giving him a much better odds for of a good scatter. So, but, you know, look, everyone makes mistakes. Um, so, you know, you can't... It doesn't make him a bad player just because he made a mistake, obviously. But I think that was a mistake for sure. And it's a lot easier as well to spot things when you're just uh, watching the game rather than playing it as well. I think everyone kind of gets tunnel vision a bit when they're playing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. seems that way, doesn't it? So yeah, Mo making sure he's out of range. And Zola can't do anything now, can he? Apart from be short and good at football. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying he's crap. You know, no. No one in this. No one in this. Uh, Nobody in this game, in this competition, is crap. You know? Um, <laughs> double one. Oh, no, he went there. Why did he go there? One, two, three, four. He's just gone out, couldn't he? Hmm. But, yeah, obviously, tilting and stuff is... Is a thing that happens, though. I, I also don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's just luck that the PC, the the PC, uh, you know, crowd have done as well as they have done. Bit of a spoiler there. <laughs> Forgot that this is the first game of the five, <laughs> and people watching it on YouTube might not know all the results, but the whole all the all five games have been played at this point. I mean, I've done shocking, shocking plays, you know? Every Everyone does. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. This is the, if, imagine if Muller had rolled like this in his semi-final, uh, no, his final against uh, Inarian. He would, Inarian would have not won. <laughs> but instead, Inarian rolled like this and, and murdered Muller's team, didn't he? So, crazy. Well, you can you can blame him for him basing the claw mighty blow for no reason. That was that I, that was really poor. Um, but yeah, that's that's all you can really say. You know, may, maybe base the claw and base everyone, but it's ballsy to do that when you've lost two players on turn one. You really don't want to do that on turn one, do you? After you've you know, but then down two players, maybe you've got to you know to stop him just teeing off, you know. It's a... Uh... All oh, right, passing with a three plus rather than two plus. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, that that was his fault. I, I think I would have... Uh, but there, yeah, he's probably... You know, he's probably just mentally... He's probably mentally checked out of this game at this point, which is which is absolutely fair enough, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and Mo will have checked out mentally of this game as well. They, they're both not really not caring at all at this point, are they? They're both just going through the motions. Um, Chelsea's Ola because he's so pissed off and Mo because he's so happy. So it's uh, <laughs> it's all a bit it's all a bit crap at this point, you know. You you you've got to forgive both of them playing a bit crap here, because um, no one really cares. Um. Well, whatever it is, Danke. <laughs> uh, cheeky pal. 
What a looker. Look how lucky the Xbox guys are. One dice power gets a stun. Outrageous. Outrageous look. Get out of town. <laughs> Lookers. <laughs> Yeah, not a single movie, yeah, against Armour 7. With... Though he didn't blitz with Mighty Blow turn one. Um, he could have just blitzed the claw with it, with a tree, you know? I, I really didn't like his turn one. I know he lost two players, but he could have three-diced the claw Mighty Blow guy with his tree. Or he could have just blitzed a random player with his Mighty Blow ward answer. And instead, he blitzed with his guard guy and didn't break armor and would have broken armor with mighty blow um so you know but yeah obviously obviously mo has been outrageously ridiculously insanely lucky uh you know there's no denying that of course not One player left on the pitch. Anything could happen. <laughs> He's trying. He used a team reroll. I mean, he could have got two dice in the ball, couldn't he? But, uh... There was really no coming back from him, was there? 3-0 PC Master Race. I quite like uh, I quite like Mul all of Mull's players' teams. <laughs> Mull players' teams? Mull's team's players were quite good. He had all these... <laughs> and they're all like PS4 equals something. And then uh, I said, why haven't you got any Xbox things? <laughs> He's like, Xbox isn't worth mentioning. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, well, he won 3-0, so pretty good. Obviously, he was just joking. For anyone at home who's hard of thinking, he was just joking there. Just banter, isn't it? I wish he would as well, yeah, Bellini. It's all just banter, obviously. No, no one's bad, but um, no, no, no one in this 15 is bad. Of course not, but anyone's going to make poor decisions and, uh, you know, in a game, aren't they? Is he going for the ball or is he just going to palm this guy? I mean, there's no reason to do any of this because it's all res anyway. I guess Mo just wants to wants to waste some time and kill another guy. Pretty good. Yeah, that's a good point, Jelly Deals. Yeah. But 21 AV breaks to three is outrageous, isn't it? And uh, 25 blocks. I mean, he only made seven blocks. So that's an interesting stat, isn't it? Um, but obviously, he just lost so many players so quickly that he was, he was fucked, wasn't he, really? So, yeah, that, that was the absolute definition there. That game of, like, the kind of spiral wasn't it this the spiral effect of uh of dice meant that he just kept getting mo kept getting easy easy blitzes he could uh, zola couldn't protect his ward answers mo was getting easy blitzes three dice blitzes even i mean three dicing a ward answer what's that about huge dirty player fouls whenever he wanted didn't get sent off i don't think and uh, didn't get sent off he was getting huge my huge dirty player fouls and mighty blow blitzes and then Zola could only make seven seven blocks in the entire match. So yeah, that was uh that was the absolute definition of, of luck spiral. Um but having said that, I do think in the one turn that the couple of turns Zola had to play okay, I I didn't like the way he just gave up the tree. 
blitzing without the mighty blow guy and stuff. I didn't I didn't like some of the things he did. Um, but then by the same token, I didn't notice the three plus dodge that Mole did in the first turn. Um, and had I noticed that, I would have said I wouldn't like that either. But apart from that, yeah, it's easy to play when you open men and everything and easy to, you know, have to make more risky moves when you're down men and stuff. So going for the sack, the turn that he did was maybe okay, but I think he could have swapped the position of the guard and the mighty blow to, in order to get a better scatter on the push square. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.